Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we are doing a Netracell guide. If you don't know what a Netracell is, it is a new weekly game mode. You can run five times maximum in the new Deimos Sanctum Anatomica area. And in order to start it, you can go to Deimos or just Sanctum Anatomica and fast travel over to Tagfer, the Netracell missions vendor, essentially, or startup. Possible rewards are Archon Shards, and melee arcanes but you can also use melee arcane adapters or get them as an uncommon and you can get tau forged archon shards tau forged archon shards drop at a really low rate so i wouldn't bet on getting those more importantly though netracells is the only way you can possibly get the melee legendary arcane melee duplicate as well as melee crescendo so those are the only possible ways you can get those other than that this is the current reward pool and drops are all over the place so yeah let's run the general mission we'll talk about it and as always if you want to support the channel subscribe like and you can use epic games creator code pupsker if you ever buy any fortnite skins warframe stuff or anything on the epic game store as you can see, the restrictions are as follows. Empowered enemies, they're stronger, more shield health, right? Stronger than more people. You can't respawn, don't respawn, you can only be revived by Tenno. Do not die, or else you're screwed and you, I think, lose one of your weekly Netracell runs. So, cheers. Consumables, you can't use them. Summons are disabled, right? Uh, cooldown, each type of restore, three minute cooldown. You can use it, sorry. Just cool down. So increased chance of Xmas, all that jazz. So let's run the mission and I'll talk about how to do it. Overall, it's a pretty easy mission. All you have to do is run the latest Whispers in the Walls quest, have that fully complete, and then you can unlock that in the Deimos Sanctum Anatomica area. So how the mission starts off is pretty simple. If you know what corrupted keys are, you know how this mission fully works. You need to unlock a vault called the Netracell. In order to do that, there are keys. This is one key, the Exhaustion Glyph, another one, Sanguine Glyph, another one, a Void Burst Glyph, and another one, Vampire Glyph. These are buff debuffs that you get, and you use them to order, or sorry, open up the vault, the Netracell. Only one person needs to take one of each, in theory, so that everyone has a key. Only one of the keys will open up the Netracell. It's the same as a corrupted uh, clan key. Corrupted, like, um, not clan key, but a corrupted vault. Works the exact same as those. All you need to do is legitimately that. And then run to those areas, the white uh, blippies. That will pinpoint where the Netracell terminal is. And that's essentially how you run the mission for the most part. Phase 1. Pick up the Netracell keys so that you can unlock the Netracell, and then from there just follow along where it asks you to go, and it will pinpoint where the Netracell is. Even if I don't go there, it's a fairly simple mission overall. Just follow the waypoints. Technically, you can find the Netracell ahead of time without actually pinpointing the location, if you're good and just like know where to go, kinda. So if, like, your RNG is amazing, you run straight to the Netracell, you don't technically need to pinpoint it. But almost everyone's just going to do the pinpoint thing anyways, because it's a lot faster, and it's kind of a pain searching for the Netracell. Because the final pinpoint is usually near the Netracell opening anyways, so... Yeah. It doesn't really matter all that much, but it is what it is, right? Each uh, pinpoint is just a little hacking computer that you hit. So you go to the hack... You go over here, boop, boop, and now it pinpointed the exact location of the Netracell, right? Still 400 meters away in that direction, and that's kind of a pain in the butt. One person on our team grabbed all of the Netracell key glyphs, so only they will be able to start the Netracell. I'll throw out an air support charge while I'm here, but that's just how that works, right? So if you want to be careful, if you think your teammates might disconnect or something, you can 100% grab all of the key, uh, key glyphs like yourself as well, just as a precaution, right? You don't have to leave it to one person or like one to each person. Every single person can grab every single like uh, key glyph themselves so that each person can open up the Netracell. It's just we're doing it this way to make it easier, right? I'll try to unlock it. It'll tell me no because I do not have this matching key glyph. You can see in the top right, uh, uh, our person Alita has all of them. 
So they will run over here, and then they will unlock the Netracel, and then we will go farm enemies, essentially. It turns into a sort of pseudo-exterminate um, after that, where you have to kill enemies within this area here. Yeah, they're just a little slow. Nothing too bad. Certain people are a lot faster, you know, depending if they have speed buffs, if they're just better at parkouring and running. Or if you do what I do and you just, like, teleport around using Zenric and, like, your operator. It all depends. So, the last person right there, they will open it up. And now it'll go to the next phase. So now you just have to kill enemies within this red circle. And then once in a while, you'll have to go and kill a Netramite, I think is what they're called. The little robots. But yeah, that's essentially all you have to do. And then once you complete all of that, you get your loot. And I would say it's pretty easy. Right? Like, you just have to make sure you actually kill the enemies in the circle. A lot of people start chasing after the enemies. And if they aren't dying in the circle, you're not getting progress, right? So you do have to let the enemies spawn in and run in. Or else you're gonna have a bad time. So I think they're killing them like right on the precipice over here because they keep spawning in around here. And as long as we don't kill them beyond the doorway, we're probably fine. Be careful. Try not to choose a squishier, harder to survive Warframe for whatever builds you have set up. Okay, now we have to kill the Netramite. Necromite? Netramite. So it's just somewhere in here. It makes a noise. It goes like mirror, mirror, mirror. Kind of sounds like Squidward. So just look for it and then shoot it. And then it goes back to like the circle area of, hey guys, do stuff here. I'll throw around some like healing shield, I should say, Protea balls. Don't want to scare the team, you know? And then my auto turrets will just do a stuff. I'll throw around some slash balls. You know, get that good chunk of damage down. We can throw down some slash balls right here and that can help. But all things considered, that is how you run the Netracel mission for the most part. But we'll continue on running it, uh, fully complete it, and then we'll go from there. And then hopefully we get a Tau Forge Archon Shard. Oh, that would be great. I never get Tau Forge Archon Shards, but... Oh, it looks like they have their summons out and everything. Damn. Full-on Goon Squad right there. Full-on Goon Squad worth of summons. But at least hopefully, uh keeps them from getting down or anything. Just insta-kills all the close-by enemies. Okay, that kills some of them at the precipice there. Like, you just see how many enemies end up spawning in that one section compared to the rest. It's actually wild. Wild to think this, this many enemies spawn from the one spot. But it's true! Okay, and now it wants you to find and destroy the Necromite again. And just do it over here. They'll probably find it for me, but... Your hands are tied until you knock them out. You just gotta look for the little floaty dude. Yeah, they found it. Smashed it. It's not like the Netramite, Necromite, whatever, has a lot of health. It's just a little dude. Just a little robot that sounds like Squidward. Just a little Squidward robot. Now, can I do damage to that one now? Nice. At 25% Netracel alert uh, level, the enemy intensity increases. Which seemingly doesn't do jack shit. Maybe it increases their level like a little bit, but like honestly, for the last quarter of a percent, it doesn't even matter. You're not gonna get hit with the like Necra might that you have to kill again because you already killed two. I think that's generally the limit. Kill two of the Necromites, Necromites, and then you're good. And then you just kind of power down the Netra Cell alert level by killing all the enemies, and you're good to go. Yeah, the Netromites also have a little purple light that they glow off. I more so am better at just finding them and using the Squidward-like sounding sound cue. But whatever works for you, of course. They do glow purple. They bleed purple. Twitch.tv slash Puffsker bleed purple. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> but yeah, they're a pretty easy enemy to find. Sometimes they can, like, hide up in the roof, kind of, and, like, be in really annoying spots. But for the most part, they're pretty easy to find. So now it doesn't matter who has the key glyph. Now that we did the thingy thing, anyone can open it. They only need the key glyph to act, uh, activate the, like, Netramite fighting. And now, go around, destroy everything in here. The main loot is in the chamber over up there. You can see it pings to you. Someone will go destroy that, and then it'll unping. But yeah, just go around to each area, break all of the items, and then you get a lot of, uh, like, Entrati obels, obels if you need it. Just general resources. Yep. 
the Netramite can bug out, this mission can bug out, host migration causes bugs, so... As always, you're still playing Warframe and it can be very buggy. So now you see we got an unidentified item and a confirmed, no matter what, at least one Intradi Lanthorn. So you're guaranteed to get an Intradi Lanthorn in here. So all things considered, could be worse, right? Oh, you don't lose? People are saying they lost Netracel attempts when they were running the mission and failed it via dying, so... I don't know who to believe anymore. Okay, so there's a bunch of Voka everywhere. I don't know if my team cares at all. Because it looks like they're just like, F the Voka. Oh, uh, it's not even up there. My team doesn't care. Uh, I'll just go run to the team. We don't really, I don't really need a ton of Voka, and it's not really a huge issue. Since I'm maxed rank and everything. So I don't really mind that much. Voka later on will just be used to buy standing in order to farm up uh, melee arcanes and finish off the melee arcane adapters. Like buy both of those if you need it, right? But I'll just ignore the Voka because they're kind of out of the way and I don't want to search for them. So that is how you run a Netracel, right? Looks like I got a melee arcane adapter. I think this is like my fourth or fifth one since it's one of the higher chance drops, so keep running this, you'll get a lot of loot. The lower uh, drop chance is definitely the Tau Forged Archon Shard and a low chance at the Legendary Melee Arcanes, but hopefully you get lucky, hopefully you get a good chunk of the Tau Forged or non-Tau Forged Shards, because you kind of need those in order to combine into the new shards, so yeah, let me know what you think, sub like, Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker, and all that jazz. Cheers.